Greetings and welcome to NoBSBaking.jp here and today I want to further demonstrate the Baking Assistant and how this one tool can improve your baking knowledge, recipe analytical skills and just overall baking success. So you're poking around the kitchen and spot a bread pan of sorts. Hmm, what kind of bread can I make with this? A few buns, maybe a French loaf, aha. How about a nice focaccia? Perfect for sandwiches or a side with dinner. Sounds great. So if I never made this before, I might just go grab a recipe online like this one. As usual, I open up my converter template get the, to get this all in percent. Luckily, this recipe is expressed in grams also, so I just splunked in the numbers. So as you can see, you need to pay close attention as this recipe appears to be based on Australian volumetric measures, where one cup apparently is 512 grams, or not, as you can see. And the ranges of what a cup actually is depends on where you look. So next is the water at almost 90%. Now this is a very high hydration dough that is not unheard of, but with all-purpose flour, and this hydration level, I'm not ready to set myself up for failure on the first go. So the first thing I will do is use bread flour for sure. The salt looks good, but yeast is almost a half a percent higher than standard. And this is an overnight dough that's really, really soft. Now, I need to make some changes here. Regarding using lukewarm water, there's not a chance. I want my dough at optimum final mix temperature, period. And before we leave this template, I just want to make note of the total batch weight here. We're going to bring this over and look at this in a minute. So I adjusted the recipe based on the assistance baking guidelines, and this is where I'm going to start. Okay, so the recipe author recommended a 9 by 13 pan. Now, I don't got it, but I got this beast. Now, 9 by 13 is commonly 2 inches deep, but they never tell you this. I poked around and found out that about 1.5 inch finished height seems a common theme when using this pan. And based on the look of the focaccia, for sure it's not 2 inches tall. Now my pan was 1.5 inches, so I evaluated the dough weight based on both pans having a 1.5 inch finished height. So I used the dough weight to pan capacity calculator and determined that really, I mean if their pan was correct size for what they wanted to produce, the pan capacity would be 2876. So therefore they're running around 34.25%. I will do similarly at around 35%. And this is what my dough weight will need to be. So I take my required dough weight of 1197, I rounded it to 1200, placed it in my recipe, and the recipe adjusted perfectly for my pan and dough weight plan. Now lastly is to sort out the water temperature. Now the author is making a no-need recipe which in my opinion always turns out product that is never as good as properly prepared breads. Traditional focaccia is mixed, hand kneaded and or folded to create the best product. Regardless of which way you go, the water temperature calculator gives you a good proper calculated temperature range based on your environmental conditions. If it's no need, then you need this. If you're hand kneading, here you go. And machine mixing, voila. It's never been easier to dial in your final dough temperatures. So now we found a recipe so we could see what it contains. We evaluated the percentages, we made minor changes to ensure success. We determined the dough weight we need, we sized the batch for our pan and we determine the water temperature we need to ensure proper final dough temperature. Now how do I know this recipe will work? Well, it's technically balanced where nothing can really go wrong from the recipe side. And I actually made a focaccia similar to this except I added olive oil to the dough. But at a 9 minute mix, overnight refrigerated fermentation, 75% hydration, and the exact same pan and it turned out great. Now before we move on, be sure to use common sense when baking. Focaccia often includes gentle dimpling of some type during the proofing stage. Don't ruin your bake by knocking too much gas out of your product and then immediately baking it. Now guidelines cannot help sort this stuff out, only common sense can.
So now let's look at pushing the assistant and making some multigrain from a recipe I quickly grabbed. Now this recipe pushes the 25% added goodies as recommended in the guidelines. Can we do it? Of course we can. So let's get down to business. First thing I'm going to do is fix this recipe a little bit. Salt's going to be 2% and yeast I'm going to reduce it to about 1.35% which is more the standard for active dry. Then I'm going to put a large egg in the calculator to see how much is solids and how much is liquid because I want to check and make sure that my total hydration makes sense. So I know the solids of the egg at is about 15 grams and the water is around 40. So I can see that actually this recipe calls for a total hydration of around 75%. Now isn't it amazing? One egg, 10% more water. So not only did this recipe fall within acceptable ranges, it came in exactly on the recommended start point in the hydration guidelines. I absolutely love it when that happens. Now I'm going to not just dump in a bunch of dry grains, I'm going to hydrate them first, so let's do this. Now the first thing we need to do is tell the calculator the hydration we want, which is 75%, and let it know how much flour is in the recipe, which is 370 grams total. So now I put in the totals of the seeds and grains I want to use. I then follow the soaking procedure as outlined on the calculator, and then weigh my soaked grains after a predetermined amount of time. The calculator confirms the total percent of grains added at 47% and then tells me how I did with respect to hydrating my goodies. In this instance, it appears my grains are hydrated a bit more than 75%, which is not a problem technically in the dough, but they may be a bit softer than I might have hoped for. I will reduce the soak the next go around. The seeds, however, were underhydrated and could potentially have used a bit more time. Now, at the end of the day, the total adjustment required was to cut one gram or one milliliter of water, which is nothing, so I wouldn't do a thing. The calculator tells us that everything in the dough will balance to a nice 75%. I mean, that's perfect. Now, the factors listed here are the base guides for how much moisture is in the products when you buy them. If you know the actual moisture content as, as it's written on the package, then you can adjust these numbers for really dialing in the hydration. After this, it's all about following the process guidelines and using common sense. The recipe is the cornerstone of any successful bake, and this is where the No BS Baking Assistant truly excels. With its precise instructions and intuitive guidance, it ensures that even the most complex recipes are understandable to bakers of all skill levels by eliminating guesswork and enhancing your baking confidence and success. Baking Assistant is a combination of key baking calculations used by professional bakers and R&D techs for analysis and product development. The math has been assembled into simple to use and understand calculators that will benefit bakers of all skill levels. Quickly access information on common and not so common bread baking ingredients, the ranges they're commonly used at, and safe start point guidelines for ensuring your bake day is a success. Now a sound recipe is only successful when the process is sound. The assistant provides a full overview of process standards, critical success factors, and good baking practices in general that are most often not communicated correctly or at all at the home baking level. Recipe templates are the workhorses that gather information and data from both calculators and guidelines, helping you evaluate, modify, and build recipes based on your ingredients, your climate, and sound, balanced recipe development and modification support. Home Baking Assistant will be continuously evolving with one goal in mind, to improve your knowledge base with baking science that is simple and easy to, to understand and work into your home baking projects. Now with the planned expansion modules like the flower expansion module shown here, We'll delve deeply into each topic, providing extensive information on ingredients, processes, and the science behind baking. The ingredient modules will provide significant expansion of the guidelines currently provided in the assistant. Take a more in-depth look at chemical properties and functions of each ingredient, how they interact with each other, and their impact on the final baked product.
Process modules will break down the various processes involved in baking, such as mixing, resting, extended bulk fermentation, proofing, and baking. Each process will be explained in detail with tips on how to optimize each step for best results. Each of these new expansion modules will be accompanied by a corresponding video that you can reference at any time. These videos will provide step-by-step -step explanations and visual presentations that complement and enhance the written information. Through these planned expansions, the Home Baking Assistant is transforming into a full technical baking course. This evolution will provide you with the tools and knowledge to elevate your baking skills, whether you're a beginner looking to learn the basics or an experienced baker aiming to refine your techniques. With each new module, gain a deeper understanding of the art and science of baking, enabling you to create delicious and consistently successful baked goods. And lastly, I was trying to think of some snappy end of this video, but I'm not a snappy salesperson. So I created this in Excel due to the large amount of calculations it contains and the many free software uh, platforms available that can read this format if you don't have Excel. While Excel might seem like a simple platform, the NoBS Baking Assistant is anything but basic. With this innovative toolkit, your theoretical baking knowledge will be vastly expanded to both understand and manage the myriad of ingredient tech and calculations required in baking with just a few clicks of your mouse and a few fill-in-the-blank data entries. No Excel skills required. It practically works by itself. Best of all, it's very affordable. Anyone who purchased the Baking Assistant will receive all future updates and expansion modules shown in this video at no additional charge. That's right, your price remains locked in from the time of purchase. It's my way of saying thank you for supporting the channel. As the Assistant is expanded with new modules and new tech, the pricing will change accordingly. So why wait? Get the Assistant today and never pay another dollar for all future upgrades. That is a no BS guarantee. Well, that's basically it for the video, but if there's any people out there interested, there's been a lot of changes that have happened to the assistant from the first introduction, and the following is a two-minute overview of the recent changes.